All right, no cord this time, right? Right, awesome. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bad times so much fun. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. It's your boy Jabril and today I'm gonna make high protein pasta salad. Yes, exciting times. We're gonna do it an Italian pasta salad. Why? Because it sounds yummy, it sounds good, and because I said so. So, before we get too far ahead, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that sub and notification button for me. Share this with your friends and family. Enjoy the video. All right, so I have some fun and exciting ingredients here. It's really not a lot of ingredients, but of course, star of the show, protein pasta. And to be honest, that is literally the only cooking item you have to do that is it. You don't have to do any other cooking. You're just doing a lot of chopping and a lot of mixing. The only cooking you have to do is this pasta. So I got my water going, it's almost boiling, and I'm gonna add my pasta, and while that is cooking, I'm gonna start prepping my my mix, my, my all my other stuff, my vinaigrette, all that. So throw my pasta in, and let's get to all the fun stuff. All right, so the full recipe will be in the description below for you guys, but, uh, for our base, we're going to do a quarter cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. And then I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning and some black pepper. And that will be my vinaigrette, that'll be my base, that'll be my start. And then I'm going to add to it one red onion and I'm gonna slice that up. And then I'm gonna have some Kalamata olives. You can use black olives if you would like to. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can even just get the sliced ones, that way you don't have to slice anything, and throw those in. But I like Kalamata olives, I like the way they taste. I know they're Greek, I know they're not Italian, but I like these better than black olives. And then I got some cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna slice. And then I got some real Parmesan cheese. And then you need some sort of protein. It's tough to do meat in here that isn't full of salt. So I did the best I could and I got some turkey pepperoni. Um, it's hard to do a lot of like lunch meat style stuff because there's so much added salt to it because most of it is cured and so it's tough. But I was able to find something that wasn't too hateful but I'm gonna go with this turkey pepperoni and honestly I'm just gonna maybe cut them in half if that and throw them in. But like I said, most of it is chopping, measuring, adding, whisking, all that jazz, schmazz, but not too terrible, but let's dive into it. All right, so I picked out probably about uh, 10 or 15 little cherry tomatoes, and all you're gonna do is just slice them in half. Not horrible, and I'm gonna set them in a small bowl for now so I can get all my veggies cut and keep them kind of contained, but just cut them in half like so. Plus it makes it look nice and purty doing it this way. And then make sure you wash them too just in case there's like you know one bad one that they sneak in there. Um, that way the rest of them aren't bad. And plus it's always nice to wash your produce anyway. Nice nice habit to form. So that's done. Those are off to the side. So now let's cut some olives. Okay and then for the olives same thing. You want about eight or ten of them. You don't want a whole lot. But I'm actually going to kind of quarter these as well. Because these are kind of your salt element. That's why I'm not really adding salt to much of this. Um, and they're big enough to do so. You can also just rough chop them. Again, you can just buy regular, cal or regular black olives and put them in there. And then you don't have to cut anything. And that works too. But this will add nice color to everything. And it'll make it taste good, which is also important. Okay, and then lastly, my onion, which I'm just gonna cut the ends off and then cut in half. I'll peel the outside layer off. 
And you always peel the outside layer off because one, that's usually where the tough part of the skin is. And two, every now and then you get a bruise or something on the end and you don't want to eat that, that's gross. It makes it look nice and clean that way. But then I'm just going to half moon these. Cut them into nice thin slices. And try and make them as thin as you can because you don't want big old hunks of onion in there and you want to be able to enjoy the pasta salad, not just taste onion. All right, so the noodles are done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to strain them, strain all the hot water out, and then I'm going to run cold water over them to cool them down. The reason I do that is because this is going to be a cold served pasta salad. I don't want hot pasta salad, I want cold pasta salad. But then we are ready to assemble. All right, so quarter cup of olive oil, same with the red wine vinegar. Okay, and then about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. Okay, and then about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Okay, then we're gonna give this a good whip. Okay, then I'm gonna tear up about 20 pieces of turkey pepperoni. Okay, so I got my pepperoni in. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes, our olives, and our onion. And we're gonna mix that all up. Okay, then we're gonna add about a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, now we're gonna add our pasta. All right, and that's all mixed up. Now you can let this cool in the fridge for a half an hour to an hour, or you can let it chill overnight, but we ain't waiting that long because it smells really good. So let's dish some up and let's try it out. All right, no cord this time, right? Right, awesome. Okay, so let's dish her up. I got my bowl. And there, you have some Italian pasta salad. Let's try this out. All right, <clears throat> so I just want the noodles. These noodles do not like staying on a fork. I tell you what, it's either them or the other ingredients. Like it's plain and simple. They just don't want to stay on a fork. It's very annoying. I want to try it all. Won't let me. All right, so there we have that. A little bit of everybody. Cheers. Mm, wow, that is, okay. So it's light, it's refreshing. It's got all the flavors of like, uh, like a balsamic vinaigrette almost. If you let this sit for an hour, let those onions break down. This is, this is a stellar dish. And the, uh, you definitely don't really need to add salt to it. Like maybe, maybe a little pinch, but honestly, you really, you really don't need to add a whole lot of salt to this because the olives do it for you. The turkey pepperoni definitely does it. Mm. And when you get a bite of the Parmesan cheese, mm, this is, wow. I have outdone myself, I tell you what. Mm -mm -mm. This ain't bad. Makes for a nice side dish, nice healthy side dish with, you know, a lean steak or something. Mm, 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 mm. This is not bad. And it's not super heavy, but the onions, cheese, and turkey pepperoni are probably the big hit. The tomatoes add a nice refreshing little loop to that, but, and then the Kalamata olives are just good because they're Kalamata olives, but, mm -mm -mm. Well guys, there you have it. A super easy, super simple, super yummy, super delicious Italian high protein pasta salad made with love but again if you guys are new to this channel make sure you hit that sub button and notification button throw a comment down below share this with your friends and family and as always peace out and i will see you guys in the next one bye